Hey everybody, welcome to this video. This is the video for business math and calculators and it's module 54, which has to do with sinking funds. Uh, I just have one quick example problem that I'm gonna run through with you uh, in this video. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so let's chat about sinking funds. Um, in this first example, here's what we've got. Uh, Fred's company set up a sinking fund to set aside money for purchasing new equipment in eight years. The company wants to have $50,000 in the account when it comes time to make the purchase. If Fred's company makes quarterly payments in an account that earns 6% compounded quarterly, what will be the amount of each payment? So basically, this is a common example of where sinking funds are used, where a company or an individual wants to start setting aside money into an account so there'll be a certain amount um, available uh, when it comes time to, you know, make a purchase or, you know, to have that money available for whatever reason they might need. Now, one thing if you kind of notice in this problem is when we get to the solution, we'll see that the nice part is, is by putting it into an account and in, in, in earning interest that's compounded in this case, you're not gonna be putting away as much as what you're gonna end up with when all said and done. So that's kind of the advantage of doing it in this way. So rather than having to, you know, pay or set aside $50,000, you'd be setting aside less money uh, because you'll be earning interest as time goes on. Now, in order to do this uh, calculation, basically what you're gonna need is a table again. Um, and a table is available that will show you the, the table factor that's again associated with a couple of things. Number one, it's associated with the number of periods or the number of payments that are gonna be made. So if they're setting aside money for eight years and the payments are made quarterly, eight times four payments per year is going to give you 32 payments or 32 periods. So that's the first number we need. The next number we need then is what is the interest rate? Okay, it's 6% annually, but if it's compounded quarterly, if I take 6% divided by four, that gets me an interest rate of 1.5% per period. Okay, so we need 32 payments and or 32 periods and 1.5% per period. Based on those values, then we can find the table factor and then use that table factor to calculate the amount of each payment. Now, we know that the amount that they want when all said and done is $50,000. The table factor, again, that corresponds to 1.5% interest for 32 periods is 0 0.0246. If we multiply that together, here's the amount of the, of the quarterly payment that Fred's company needs to make, $1,230. Now, again, if I were to do a quick calculation and take $1,230 times 32 payments, that amount, I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but it's gonna be less than $50,000, okay? So if they were to just set aside $1,230, you know, and, and just put it into an account that doesn't have any interest, they wouldn't nearly have, they wouldn't have nearly the same amount as what they do by putting it into this sinking fund that's earning interest as time goes on. So when all said and done, the company needs to set aside $1,230 per quarter. If they do that for eight years, they'll have $50,000 in the account that they can then use to purchase their new equipment. So there you go. Alrighty, so that was just one example of a sinking fund. Again, it's just another type of investment that um, uh, a company or a person might invest in. Um, again, it's used primarily for the purpose of setting aside money to the use as a, at a later date for, you know, making a purchase of a building or land or equipment or different things like that. So um, hopefully the example uh, was clear. Um, and if you do have any questions, though, please make sure you reach out and ask. I'm always happy to help out uh, if you need anything. Um, otherwise, thanks for taking some time to watch the video. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the video for the next module.